What is going on guys? Dr. D here from One Hive Invicta bringing you the week three recap from the CWL Light where we faced the UK weekend war. Uh, this was a, I mean, this was an important war for the, for, for our division in the CWL Light because uh, this was the war for first place. We were both 2-0 and moving into this war. Um, we knew that this was a must-win war for us. Unfortunately, we did not come away with the win. Huge props to UK Weekend Warriors or UK Weekend War. Uh, you guys had a, um, a an outstanding war. Um, we, you know, as, as with any war, um, a couple of uh, a couple of mistakes on on both sides. Uh, but you know, you guys just did an out. They did an outstanding job on our, our Town Hall 9s. Um, we struggled a bit on Town Hall 9s. We, we didn't have the scouts that we normally had. Um, we still had four guys who, uh, come away with six packs, which is fantastic. Um, Clutch had himself a uh, you know six pack with two fresh triples, which is really difficult. Um, lots of six packs on the other side. These guys did great. They cleared our 9s um, without any problems. Um, but uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop in and look at the war statistics. So here are the basic war statistics. You can see um, we had 20 triples, they had 21 triples. Uh, that was the difference right there. Um, that one extra star is how you get 70 to 71. 94.08% uh, damage, 94.88% damage on our side. Um, okay, let's go ahead and have a look at the uh, attacks. So. Um, what it really boiled down to is they tripled uh, one more Town Hall 10 than we did. Um, so, yeah, uh, it really came down to the end. It's uh, unfortunate, but um, props to these guys. Uh, they take they move up to first place in the division, um, and uh, I believe we uh, have taken up second place. Uh, okay, so um, as I said, lots of attacks that I'm going to show today. I'm not going to show... Um, any of their, I'm not going to show their Town Hall 11 bases, uh, neither of them were tripled, uh, they were both, um, uh, got two stars by our Town Hall 10s, Justin got two stars on number two, and Eris got two stars on number one, both of those guys are Town Hall 10s, um, and then we had a couple of Town Hall 11 dips, Matt got a six pack, as I said before, uh, let's talk about six packs real quick, as I said, Matt got one, um, I got a six-pack this war, uh, Riggle or Captain Sparrow. Um, he's got two accounts that he kind of moves around. Uh, Clutch had a six-pack, and Lee had a six-pack. Uh, all right, I am actually going to show every single fresh triple that we had here. A lot of different types of attacks. A lot of attacks that were really cool. It's tough trying to uh, choose the one attack that they're going to highlight for the, um, the CWLL. Uh, recap video. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But let's start right here, uh, number eight with Riggle. And Riggle is coming with a Penta. Now, Riggle actually has been doing this quad attack recently that's really cool. Um, I'm hoping to get some videos of that here soon. But you can see uh, Hog comes in, pulls the CC. Um, most of their C, every one of their CCs had a baby drag in it. Most of them, it was a baby drag. A witch, and then some sort of mix-up of other troops. Uh, this one winds up being a baby drag and actually uh, two Valks um, and some junk. So uh, pulls the CC, um, uses the, his royals just to kill this queen. And once this queen is gone, that's all that really matters here. Uh, a lot of the pentas that uh, we've been doing, um, and we, we've got a guy, Heartless, who is just um, amazing with the pentas, uh, have, have involved using a heal spell now. And you'll see uh, where this heal spell comes down for, for Riggle and uh, similar um, similar placage for the heal spell uh, when we watch HB's attack a little bit later. But uh, just kind of trickling in these hounds um, in, a, in a circle. Um, you know, the, the original uh, penta, when it first came out, if you remember this uh, last year, two years ago, um, what they were doing was just throwing in all of their hounds at once and spraying those uh, the the loons out there, and it was kind of a spammy attack. Um, so uh, there went the heal spell. Um, the heal spell ideally is going to protect against um, one of two things, or if 
or, or possibly both. And here it was great placement because it protects against a wizard tower, which was there, and against these Teslas as we move into them. Um, HB winds up going against the Teslas. Uh, <laughs> kind of unfortunate here that he has got three hounds that did not pop. Um, but uh, we'll fast forward here. Uh, it, is, it is all about the cleanup now. Um, and he, of course he does clean up uh, this attack and uh, tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, Captain Sparrow. All right, um, moving on, we have me. So let's have a look at this attack. Um, so this is a, a, a queen walk Lalo. Uh, start by setting my funnel and the, the goal is actually to come in right here and to try and take out these two air defenses with my queen, jump up here and get these two um, blowers as well. So uh, the walk is going well. You'll see I'm going to actually uh, set down a king. I missed missed with that uh, giant. Should have been a little bit closer. Uh, wanted him to tank while I threw in those wall breakers, but uh, it worked out. Um, everything was was there was only one defense on those wall breakers, and so four wall breakers go in. Um, all of these are fresh triples, by the way, so you don't know exactly where bombs are or where they aren't. I knew that there wasn't any bombs there because those buildings were all stacked right up against each other. Uh, the king winds up pulling the CC, which I didn't intend on happening, but it did. Uh, so king gets uh, lost to the CC, uh, does wind up clearing some trash around the side, and takes out one of the Teslas. Uh, CC comes over, poison down, another rage on the queen. That was another thing I didn't really want to do. I wanted to use that rage on the Lalo portion, but um, I still have a rage in the bag at this point. Two air defenses are down, jump is down, and so at this point it's time to start the Lalo. Um, in with my first hound, second hound is coming from the three o'clock position, tanking across. Uh, drop a Rage spell to push up to that uh, air defense as quickly as possible. And Queen is still in that pocket. Finally takes out that uh, blower. Um, popped a, a Hound up top, started bringing those in. And now it's just uh, those few defenses that are left. Only two air targeting defenses. And that is it. I have not used Queen's ability yet. Still have some... Uh, wall breakers. I brought extra just in case. You never know how that's going to go. Uh, but tree stars in the bag. Throw down some wall breakers and let's just speed it up. And that is it. All right. Um, next, we are going to have a look at Clutch, who did a very cool attack um, on... Uh, 15, but uh, the attack here is also, it's, it's a nice attack, don't get me wrong. Um, so let's check this out. It is a stoned hobo, as you can see. We'll speed it up here a little bit. He starts by setting a funnel, as you do with the stoned hobo. Um, if if people leave those those mortars out there, it's easy to, to destroy those mortars with a uh, with a wizard right on top of them once the other defenses, once point defenses are distracted. So, uh, two jumps here, um, loses a ton of bowlers right off the bat, unfortunately. Uh, doesn't matter, though, on this compact base. He's able to push right through a uh, couple of hogs down on the bottom there, um, and then he starts bringing in hogs around to the right side. Has not used his heal spell yet, and that heal is going to get used on hogs here in just a second. Um, queen is still up. Uh, king is still up. One golem is tanking. Two golems are still tanking. So he's got a lot going on here. A lot of defenses. Or I mean a, a lot of troop space still available. Um, heal spell goes down. Takes out uh, that Tesla. And there's a troll Tesla over on the side. Uh, sometimes with these uh, Bolalos. It's especially, or I mean these um, hobos. Especially on a fresh hit. It doesn't hurt to bring a, uh, bring a loon. Right? And if you see that thing pop, just drop a loon and, and don't worry about it. Uh, again, um, Clutch has not used his Queen's ability yet. Uh, we're going to fast forward here. This is Tree Stars in the bag. Very nice job, Clutch. All right. And a man of many talents. We're going to watch 
uh, a second attack by Clutch. Um, also a fresh triple. Uh, this is kind of an interesting V type of base. Um, and so here, Clutch is really our Veiler kind of specialist. And he's going to come in with a blue Veiler. Uh, starts with a Queen Walk, um, trying to set the edge uh, over on this side. Um, got a, a, a Wizard over on the right side, setting the edge over there. Uh, this is a little bit different Veiler, if you notice, because he's got three witches, which I've never seen a Veiler with three witches before. But a uh, very, very cool approach. Unfortunately, um, those healers just get roasted by that air defense right off the bat. Um, but uh, Queen is down. Uh, bowlers are down. Funnel has been set very nicely. They are all going to meet up here in the middle, and then they are going to rip into the center of this base. Uh, CC comes out, and it's a hound. Not a big deal. Um, Queen is still... Uh, not use the ability and has all of her um, healers. Healers are going to switch now. Um, they're going to move in with the, the main kind of kill squad body here, following those Valkyries, which is kind of nice. Uh, lots of skellies pouring out of those, those three witches. And King rips through the wall. And it, at this point, it is, it is just pushing through, right? Uh, Rage comes down um, in to get that queen, bust through this wall quickly. Still got to drop the Vinyl Rage right there. Um, still has not used Queen's ability. Has a couple of Wizards waiting for cleanup here. Uh, it is going to be Tree Stars in the bag, though. Very nice job, Clutch. Cool, cool attack. Um, I would recommend, uh, you know, start giving this uh, Witch um, Veiler a try. It's a, it's a very cool attack. <coughs> Obviously very um, OP. Okay. Uh, next, we are going to look at uh, Blonde, who did a Stoned Hobo um, with a double jump. Now, remember uh, two replays ago, we had Clutch doing a, a Stoned Hobo with a double jump. Um, mostly, these double jumps, you don't see wall breakers, but she brought wall breakers here. And so she is, is really kind of going for broke. Uh, wall breakers come in, which means she's going to bust in and then jump twice once she's in there. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. Uh, two bowlers decide to go for a walk. Um, one comes back around, but but she loses him right there. Uh, jump, First jump is down. Heal spell is down. Rage spell is down. And second jump is now down. She knows that all of her spells are gone. So... Uh, just starts bringing in hogs from both sides of this. Now, one of the nice things about uh, about these hogs, when they're even if they're not distracted, um, if you get a defense that's targeting your hogs, two hogs can take out a point defense as long as it's only that one point defense that's on them. Um, they can do that anytime. It's 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 uh, not a big deal. A cannon versus two hogs, the hogs will win every time. Well. One of them will. You're going to lose a hog. That's all there is to it. Uh, but the other one will get that defense down. Um, but here we go. Last defense is down right there. It is time for cleanup. Uh, she's got a, a couple of wizards. She throws down. And it is tree stars in the bag. Nice job on a fresh triple by Blonde. And poor Blonde lost connection on her other, other hit. Um, otherwise, we might be seeing two replays of fresh triples. Okay, uh, number 17, Lee. This was a fresh triple. Um, again, a stoned hobo. Um, and this base is a common base. This is a common internet base uh, or a common three-star base within this new meta that we're seeing quite a bit. Again, uh, double jump, uh, no wall breakers, 15, healer, or 15 hogs. Um, We'll speed this up just a little bit. Gets a very nice funnel set, and once that funnel is set, out comes the bowlers. They all go inside. Uh, no worry, no worries about the CC. Take that out uh, while you're um, moving in with your kill squad. Uh, at, at this point, lots and lots of tanking. Um, still has uh, four of his five bowlers up. Um, still has uh, uh, golems up. And the hogs just come in, start taking out uh, defenses while these defenses are distracted. Um, <laughs> one one low, lone hog trickling in at the end there. 
uh, and that is it. Now he does get down to like, yeah, just three hogs, um, but uh, it is it is enough, and he's got plenty of cleanup. Uh, needs to drop that whiz and that other archer. I don't know if he ever does actually, so maybe I shouldn't say needs to. Yeah, there they go. And that is it. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Lee. Okay, next we have HB. HB's coming with a penta as well. Um, a lot of a lot of us have been focusing on pentas. Notice that uh, every air attack that we've shown, um, both of those bows are up. It doesn't seem to matter. If you can get the queen and the CC with just your kill squad, uh, penta is a very very viable option. Um, and in fact, a quad lalo uh, bringing actually about 20, 22 loons um, is is fantastic. Uh, if you also bring a Zapquake for one of those ads, uh, we're gonna watch one of those. Oh no, um, we're gonna we're gonna watch a quad, but didn't bring a Zapquake. So um, here uh, again, uh, Tesla Farm pops, and we, we quickly lose uh, some hounds, and so down comes that uh, heal spell. They are gonna finally pop through here, and then she's gonna throw down a rage to finish off this expo and this last. Uh, um, hidden Tesla, down it goes, down goes the blowers, oh, I thought she got that one, oh well, uh, still has one blower up, uh, and two hounds left right now, some pups doing some work, uh, one, of, one of the tough things is she lost a lot of pups to a, um, I believe it was an air mine, it might have been a wizard tower, splash damage is, is deadly to those pups, but, uh, not sure if this final, yeah, this final hound is not going to pop. So um, this is similar to, to what Riggle did. Whenever I do an air attack, I, I throw down that max hound first. Um, and uh, you, I, I try and try and start the attack uh, in a spot where my max hound, the pups from my max hound are not going to get lost. One of the, one of the major benefits of, of a max hound is the fact that when it pops, it pops out a lot of pups. Uh, doesn't matter though. Tree stars in the bag. Very nice job, HB. This base is just crushed. Look at all those pups. All right. Um, next, Rising Savage. Let's scroll down here. This was a really, really cool attack that she did. This is a Queen Walk Hobo. Um, some things went wrong for her, uh, and you'll see that here. Um, so uh, giant comes in, goes to pull out the CC. A bunch of gobs come out, and she only had that one giant. So send in a hog. Now she only brought thirteen hogs, which is is pretty light. Um, queen goes down, and here comes the healers, and the poison. And so the queen is taking out the CC. Um, these these goblins can be can be a problem for queen walks. Uh, but not an issue here. As long as you get a poison down and a rage on those healers, then you'll, you'll be fine. Um, so she's going to take out the, uh, enemy Barb King and the enemy Queen. And once those two things are done, um, a hog attack becomes very, very viable. Uh, so she's got the, she's got the Queen down. She has got the CC gone, um, in with the golems and you'll see uh, things go a little bit awry here. Her wall breakers just decide that they're gonna go crazy. Um, two of them, <laughs> they just keep splitting on her. Oh, I felt so sorry for her. But I mean, uh, th that's that's a well designed base meant to mess up um, wall breakers. So down with the jump spell, uh, and well, the king goes to where he's supposed to, and one bowler. The rest of these bowlers decide that they're going to take a stroll. Now, they're actually going to do some pretty good work working all the way around here. Uh, king gets in there, takes out one of those expos. Um, expos can be, can be, you know, an, an issue for the, uh, for the hogs. Queen is still up, still going, um, and in come the hogs, finally. Expo is distracted by that queen, and hogs get on that expo right there. Um, under heal, she's still got one heal spell left, and and really only one uh, defense that she's got to really worry about, and that was that cannon. Down it goes. 
still has a bowler up, still has a few hogs up. So even though things kind of went awry on her, which happens on a fresh on a fresh hit, uh, she was able to pick up the tree star. Very nice job, great hit, Savage. Okay, um, the last fresh triple that we have is Heartless. And I was saying earlier, Heartless is kind of our Penta master, and he's coming with a Penta here. Uh, notice that this is an old school type of Penta. All he's got is Royals, Hounds, and Loons. Um, nothing to serve as a kill squad. Uh, notice, though, he does have a Max Skelly spell, and that is because down here you can get this queen. The only splash damage that, are, that is there is this. So he's planning on using the uh, skelly spell to take out that queen when he needs to. Um, uses a, a, a loon to take out a mortar that was sitting right here and pull out the CC. CC is now done. Queen drops a poison. She's going to pop her ability. And that is it. He has taken out the CC and they've done everything that they need to do. So he starts the Penta. Um, does a nice kind of clockwork uh, deployment of his hounds. That hound pops right away because that queen is just pounding on it. Decides not to go with the poison just yet, which is smart. He's waiting until he actually needs, or I mean the skelly spell on the queen. He's waiting until um, he's cleared the base and worked his way over to where that queen is. And so that hound pops. A uh, rage spell quickly takes out that uh, air defense there, and he's got one hound left here, sitting on the lone air defense that is left. One rage, one poison, which he just dropped, and one skelly spell. And now comes the skelly spell. While the queen is distracted, the skelly spell goes down and makes quick work of that queen, especially with those skeletons under rage like they were. Uh, this hound is never going to pop, um, but that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Heartless. And the Skelly spell, those Skellies bust out. They do some nice work. Uh, do great cleanup for him. That is it. Nice job, Heartless. All right. Let's have a look now at a couple of cleanup attacks that I thought were really, really awesome. So we're going to start with uh, Bazoo. And Bazu hit number 12, and he came with a, a dragon attack with a double zap quake. Um, anytime you see air defenses that are sitting out here, like especially like this one, um, dragons become a viable option. Because you can zap quake two of those air defenses, and you can use a hound uh, in your CC on this last air defense. So there he goes. He zap quakes two of those air defenses. The great thing about dragons is you do not have to worry about um, the CC. You don't have to worry about the queen. Dragons make quick work of the CC, quick work of the queen. You'll see here, actually, the dragons do get clumped up a little bit. And one of the things that I worry about with, with dragons is when we have uh, expos that are up. And in this case, the expos are set up. Um, here he comes, though. He throws down the... That, that Max Lava Hound, which does not last long. It has just taken some major, major damage. But it lasts long enough to give those dragons time to work in there and take out that air defense. And that's exactly what happens. Dragons are in there, uh, a couple of loons, and that loon finally pops that, last air, or pops that air defense down. Uh, we'll speed this up a little bit. His dragons are going to clump up here a bit. Loses the drags over there by that uh, one expo, and then that expo just sits there for the longest time. Um, I was a little bit concerned, but at this point, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight dragons out of the nine that he started with. He's doing pretty good. Uh, lots of high HP buildings, but it doesn't matter. They're busting their way through them pretty quickly, and... That is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Bazu. I also uh, had a, a triple with drags this war, which I'm not going to show. Uh, it wasn't nearly as sweet as what Bazu had. All right. Let's look at Big D McSmash. This is the Quad Lalo um, I was talking a little bit about. Uh, I've, been, I've been doing this Quad Lalo in FC now, but using a Zap Quake and taking out one of these air defenses. Um, and then using my Royals just to get the Royals and, if possible, 
uh, get the CC, but even if I can't get the CC, um, a double poison on the CC seems to work quite nicely. I'm not, I haven't been bringing any rage, just uh, haste and poisons. Um, but the use of a skelly spell might not be bad if you can't get to that queen. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, he's able to take out one of those uh, air defenses, pulls out the CC, double poison on it, kills most everything with the poison. Then he's got a couple of whiz that step up there and help out a little bit. Uh, queen dies, doesn't matter. Um, in with the loons right here, coming down here at this lower air defense. And you can see the plan is just to work right around this way. And so uh, loons come in, haste is down, um, has not popped a single hound yet. One is going to pop right there. Um, there goes another hound. Uh, so we still got two hounds up um, and a lot of haste used down here. Uh, does not need to worry about that rage until right there. Um, rage comes in and it is going to push everything to this final air defense. Really, really smart attack by uh, Big D McSmash. That final hound pops right at the perfect time. Oh, he didn't pop. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't think he actually loses this hound. I think it stays intact the whole time. Uh, doesn't matter though. Tree stars in the bag. Very nice job. Big D McSmash. All right. And we have one more that we're going to watch. Um, this was maybe, well, this was one of my favorite attacks from this war. I thought it was a really, really cool attack. Um, it was it was a cleanup attack, uh, but just an awesome job. And we were really struggling with this base. This was a tough base. And Scott, uh, PAB, came in um, with a uh, stoned... Um, Stoned entry with with bowlers in the CC, and I don't even know what to call this. A a gobo baby drag, I guess. Um, jumps in and notice he's got two jumps. He's really really trying to get some push out of this uh, out of this kill squad, and he does. He gets some great push. Uh, it does get a little bit scary at the end. Double poisons here um, and throws down another jump. I remember looking at this this sketch and thinking, nope, no way. Uh, unfortunately, I saw this sketch and uh, then, or fortunately, I should say, I saw this sketch, um, went to comment, and then realized that he was attacking right as I was commenting. But uh, you can see now he has started to filter in uh, baby drags all along the uh, six to nine o'clock. Um, still has three baby drags in the, uh, kind of in, in his back pocket there. Um, Queen has not used her ability yet. Uh, the only bad thing here is we have got an air defense that is still up. And that is the last thing you want to see when all of your troops uh, are baby drags. But Queen finally steps up, and as soon as this air defense goes, those other baby drags come in immediately. And it is, that is it. Tree stars in the bag. It is all about the cleanup at this point. Swag ability, didn't need to use it. And didn't didn't even drop a wizard, but nice job, Scott. Really cool attack. Um, so that is it. Those are all the replays that we've got for today. Um, again, great war to UK Weekend Warriors. Uh, uh, came down to the last, you know, the last attack really, and and that's how that's how a war should come down. I mean, that, it, it's it's more fun, win or lose, if it comes down to one attack, one star. Um, and that's that's what happened here. But props to you guys. Props to moving into first place or, or, or kind of independently taking the lead in first place. And uh, hopefully we're able to uh, snatch that away from you uh, sometime in the future. Um, that is it. This is Dr. D uh, from One Hive Invicta. Clash on.